What's up, Alaska? Welcome to the Alaska Outdoors podcast. I'm your host, Caleb Martin, and this podcast is brought to you by Explore Alaska. If you're unfamiliar with Explore Alaska, feel free to jump on the net, go over to explorealaska.org, and you can check us out or check us out on social media, Instagram, or on Facebook as well. Ultimately, our goal is to connect Alaskans with Alaska and help them recreate safely and ethically with a healthy conservation focus. So just a little background on us, who we are, and um, what we support. Uh, We started up in 2017, and our goal was really to create information and content that teaches the new outdoor user on how to be safe and learn some outdoor skills along the way. I originally uh, started the Great Alaska Hunting Club page, and over the years it's kind of grown bigger and bigger and bigger. And on there we um, get a lot of questions from new hunters and new users about all kinds of different things in the outdoors. So we kind of use that to teach people quite a bit, and Explore Alaska kind of grew out of that because I started to realize there's a lot of people in all user groups that could use some outdoor knowledge and learn from experience, basically, right? There, People get outdoors all the time and just get started into the wilderness and get themselves in trouble quite a bit. So our hope is to help people out, teach them from what we've learned, and kind of give them a step ahead into their outdoor travels. So this is kind of the point of the podcast. We will do a little bit of stories from different people who've gone into situations that some of them have been life-threatening. Some of them, um, they're mostly survival scenarios. We'll touch a little bit along the way on uh, Alaska environmental issues from professionals in the field. And so we'll be a little bit about all over the place, but we have a little bit of something for everybody. And if you're interested in getting into hunting or fishing or climbing, mountaineering, hiking, any of those different user groups that you're not normally into or not familiar with, then uh, feel free to tune in because this is exactly what our uh, goal is, is to have a little bit of something for everybody and teach and inform along the way about different issues in Alaska. A little bit about myself. I was born on the Kenai Peninsula. I've lived in Alaska my whole life. I basically grew up living in the out in the outdoors. I was homeschooled at a young age and half our day every day was pretty much spent in the woods looking at moose, building forts, fishing, hunting, living the Alaskan lifestyle and that has really driven my passions over the years to get out more and explore more of Alaska and the last five to ten years, the more research I have done and the more experience I've gained, the more places I've gone and seen what Alaska has to offer. And I want to help other people be able to do this this same goal. There's a lot of people that live in South Central that have gone outdoors and experienced some of the outdoors around Alaska. And there's some great opportunities in South Central Alaska. But I want to help people grow and learn to get outdoors and have those vital skills to be able to go and dream further and bigger uh, from the Brooks Range to Western Alaska to the Yukon River, kind of what we strive for. And personally, that's what I absolutely love. I love love being in the outdoors. I love uh, Alaska and everything it has to offer. I, I never plan on leaving Alaska because I believe there's so many different parts to Alaska yet to explore and so many different things I haven't seen yet. And I want to help people uh, do the same. And besides that, nowhere else in the United States, I think, can offer what Alaska has to offer, over 70 million acres of public land. It's just absolutely incredible what you can see and do here. So that's just a little bit about who we are and then what you can expect going forward. There's a lot of old timers that I've talked to over the years that have shared some great stories with me and that has stuck with me over the years and really made me wonder or wish there was a form of digital media that we had out there where we could record some of these stories and share these with the public. Because if any of you have heard some stories from a Bering Sea crab fisherman or an experienced hunting guide that's been guiding in Alaska for 20 plus years or 
a mountaineer or through hiker, they have some really, really interesting stories and knowledge that we could all learn from and would appreciate. And I appreciate when I get the opportunity to hear those stories. And so I figured it would be great to share those stories with the rest of the world. So that is kind of the purpose here. We um, try to focus a lot on helping out local companies. So you'll notice in a lot of our podcast, we'll probably plug local companies at the start of the podcast that we recommend. Um, there'll be everything from craft local craft brews to local gear companies that uh, we sell products for and other lodges and guides that have great services around Alaska that we want to try to help build up their following and show Alaska and different Alaskans different opportunities they can have with these guides and lodges to do some really great chips and experiences. So ultimately, our goal is just to help bring Alaska closer together and connect Alaskans with Alaska. That's kind of our go-to catch saying, and that's kind of... um, the point of what we do. If you're looking for some gear, you can get on explorealaska.org and see some of the gear offerings we have. We have some great shows coming up this year. The first one is the Matsu Outdoorsman Show, March 27th through the 29th. And that show, we're bringing on a lot of new products this year that aren't currently on the Alaska market that some people might have never seen before. And some of them aren't necessarily based on just hunting and fishing, even though they are sportsmen's and outdoor shows that we're doing this year. So if you're a hiker or a pack rafter or a climber and you're interested in seeing some new gear, stop by the show and check out some of the offerings we have. It's a great opportunity to get on some of our products in your hands and check them out before jumping online and buying them. That's a big thing that We feel that Alaskans struggle with a lot with shipping and logistics of living in Alaska. It was buying great gear online and then finding out it's not what you wanted it to be when you get it in hand. So hopefully our ultimate goal is to have our shop based in Anchorage, Alaska. That's where we uh, are currently at. And for the foreseeable future, that's where we're going to stay. So you might start seeing us at some local events more and more. And uh, feel free to reach out. You see us on the trails. See us in our Explore Alaska shirts or whatever, stop by, say hi. We love conversating with local people, love talking about environmental issues and learning more and more about what Alaskans care about and how we can draw attention to those issues. In 2020, a few issues we hope to really draw attention to, litter prevention and recycling in Alaska. There's a lot of great recycling programs up here already, but there's some areas that we really would like to start some grassroots efforts into helping clean up, specifically along the Sterling and Seward Highways, up around the Glen and some different backcountry areas. Um, There's some great cleanup efforts in the works already, but we just want to create a little bit more noise and attention to those areas and encourage Alaskans how they can help clean up Alaska and get some benefits for doing so. If you followed us for a few years, you know we do a lot of giveaways helping plug local small businesses, adventure businesses, and guiding businesses. 2019, I think we gave away 10 or 12 different trips all throughout Alaska from glacier jet ski tours to helicopter tours to stays at different lodges. So if you haven't checked us out on social media, it definitely pays benefits for following us and looking for those giveaways we do. We try to not spend Uh, sell it just so everybody is trying to hear a big sales pitch. But ultimately, the goal is to help grow the the small business that has generously donated whatever incentive or prize that we give away, but also in one form or another help the Alaskan environment too. So that's some of the, that's ultimately the goal of the litter prevention program that we're working on this year. Another hot topic issue that we're working on this year is the Alaska troller bycatch. That's a issue that has gone on for decades now. A lot of Alaskans that have been in the fishing industry know exactly what I'm talking about. And it's kind of a David versus Goliath type of thing. For those that don't know, the trawler fishery is a commercial fishery that takes place three miles or more off the ocean where they drag large nets along the ocean bottom floor in an effort to catch pollock, sole, and flounder and other flatfish, but not necessarily target halibut. But when they're doing so, they can't really stop the net from picking up anything and everything that it does along the ocean floor. So ultimately what happens is they catch 
a ton of halibut. Uh, I think in 2019, by June, it was like 11 million pounds that they accidentally caught while targeting other species. And federal law says they're not allowed to keep it so because they don't want to incentivize them targeting the bycatch, so they have to throw it overboard. So they, the result is they waste millions and millions of pounds of halibut. To put it in perspective, every man, woman, and child in Alaska caught around just under about six and a half million pounds of halibut total on a rod and reel. If you went to a charter or a personal fishery, that's what everybody caught. All the tourists, residents, everything. The trollers, on the other hand, just the bycatch they threw overboard was over 7 million pounds. So they threw away and wasted more halibut than ever was caught during the entire year. And ultimately, the result of that, it's a federal fishery, so it's not regulated by the state of Alaska. And that fishery maintains a large amount of bycatch that we feel is ridiculously wasteful and doing a crazy amount of damage to our oceans and crazy amount of damage to the halibut species um, we just feel like the, there's no way you can take that many fish out of the ocean and waste them every year for decades and not see a, you know, detrimental damage to that species. Um, so our goal is to bring some attention to that this year and uh, bring Alaskans together in a unified voice to help fight that. Really, it'll have to be fought on a federal level. Um, from what I've understood, I've been doing a ton of research and learning on it. And I still got a lot to learn on it. But basically what it's going to take is a stand from our governor and a stand from our senators to make a stand in Washington, D.C. to stop this. Because a lot of these trailers are owned by out-of-state corporations. The majority of them are owned by out-of-state corporations that are fishing for even larger corporations. Um, if you think about it, think about like McDonald's fish sandwiches and fast food fish sandwiches and larger chain restaurants. That Those are the type of people that are owning these large trawlers that are fishing our oceans and doing this much damage. So in order to make that change, you can imagine it's going to take pressure on a very large level. So that's some of the issues that we're focusing on this year, but we're always looking to focus on what we can do to help and change the environment in Alaska for better and the way that outdoor users recreate in Alaska. We support a few different programs. We support the Alaska Wildlife Conservation Center is a huge one and probably one of our favorites. We've done a few videos you can see on our website, exploralaska.org. A portion of all our profits, we feel so passionately about the Conservation Center and the work they do that anything you buy off our website a portion of every bit of that sale goes right back to the Alaska Conservation Center and it's usually about 20 percent anytime you have a sale and you're you want to know how much of your sale went directly back to Alaska Conservation send us a message I'm happy to break it down for you I have no problem we want to be transparent and let Alaska know we want to lead by example that our goal is to help Alaska wildlife and provide good quality gear and content as well. We're, you know, we got to make a livable wage and that's ultimately, you know, the goal. But also we feel that we can do that by making a difference in Alaska and helping Alaska for the better. Another strong program that we support is a veteran program. So a portion of our profits go to Rally Point Outdoors that helps take veteran families into the outdoors in the community and go on hunting and fishing trips and experience the outdoors. Last time we looked at the stats, it's well over 100 families that they have helped take out on different uh, outdoor expeditions, you could say. Um, so that's a great program. We strongly, strongly support uh, America's veterans and the uh, first line defense for freedom. So that's just a little bit about us and what we support and who we are. So y you kind of know who you're listening to and if you're buying gear from us, who you're shopping from. We have a pretty large team of people that you'll hear from over the course of our podcast and different episodes on different things. Uh, I think we have 23 at the moment. And they're everything from fishing guides, mountaineers, climbers, hikers, ice uh, ice climbers. We have just a lot of outdoor enthusiasts and professionals in different manners that help us generate content, articles, and some of the videos and podcasts you'll see coming from the coming in the future. And those guys help us determine what gear we buy and, and what we test and what kind of content we generate. So you'll know that the gear we get 
And the knowledge you are getting is coming from an Alaskan source. It's coming from people that are experienced in Alaska and who have been there, seen it, done it. So we're not just um, looking to make puff articles or, you know, make ourselves look good by saying stuff. And sometimes, you know, everybody's uh, everybody's wrong at one point or another. We don't claim to be perfect. So if there's something that uh, you don't agree with, call us out on it. It's uh, more, more than happy to hear differing opinions. Um, one thing we don't go into is we try not to dive too far into politics. Um, we're pretty neutral organization. We don't try to lean one way or the other. Our focus is on bringing the Alaska community together and our passion for the outdoors. So there you have it. That's um, who we are, uh, start to finish, and what our goal is. Uh, we really hope you enjoy the podcast. It's been a um, idea of mine for a while, and it's taken me a little longer than I wanted to get it up and running. So Hopefully now that it's up and running, you can see several episodes. Hopefully we're looking at getting at least two a month, one every couple weeks. Um, maybe a higher frequency that depends on a lot of different variables. But if you have ideas or know somebody with a great story or great outdoor knowledge, feel free to send us a message or a suggestion or reach out for yourself if you have a story to tell or a position on some of these environmental issues. We'd love to hear from you. If you have any questions, comments, or anything, you can send us a message at management at exploreak.com. And uh, that's a direct line to me. Uh, I'd love to hear from you, love to talk to you, or you can reach out to us on social media as well. So thanks, guys, for uh, listening. Hopefully I didn't bore you too much to death for this first episode. I just kind of want to lay it down on the table so people know who we are and what we're all about. So Hope to see you on the next episode. I promise it's going to be far more entertaining. I've had a lot of fun these first four or five episodes that I currently have recorded, talking to different Alaskans and hearing their stories. Um, they've gone through some pretty, pretty wild things, and it was very entertaining to hear their their perspective and hear it firsthand. So hopefully you join us on those episodes, and we look forward to seeing you next time. Yeah. Mm-hmm.